Hey there, this is Dr. Jim. My topic this week is one that is very near and dear to my heart. And I wrote an article on this. If you take a look at the link below, it's called, When Is It Time for Hospice? But before going to that link, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this. So hospice does move me, but in very good ways. A lot of us assume that hospice would be a depressing topic. It's necessary, but depressing. But my mom, Mary Collins, before her last few months, did require and was appropriate for hospice. And the social worker from the skilled facility where she was living would call me or track me down when I was visiting. And she would say, Jim, we need to talk. And I knew what she was referring to. And I refused her once. And I refused her twice because I wasn't buying what she was selling about my mother needing hospice. And I'm a gerontologist. I should have known better. But I'm also a son. I'm Italian-Irish, which makes me a little stubborn. And... I should have listened. The third time she approached me, I agreed. And I met with hospice and the social worker. And it was actually a very good thing. I'm glad that I agreed. So when is it time to make that call? I wasn't looking forward to talking about hospice. And generally speaking, not too many people are looking forward to that recommendation because it's such a loaded word and it means so many things, like the end is near, there's nothing else we can do, it's about death, or is it? I have come to learn hospice is not about death. It's actually more about living and enhancing the quality of life. It's about managing symptoms like pain, nausea, it's about comfort and peace. But when should we make that call? The most important thing I can tell you in this short video is make the call early. Make the call on a timely manner. Hospice professionals are truly and uniquely trained to deal with so many issues around death and dying. They specialize in end of life care the dying process, and any need, whether it's physical, emotional, psychosocial, or spiritual. Lots of studies have shown that early intervention with hospice leads to better quality of life, symptom management, and can actually extend the individual's life just a little bit. And what I wouldn't give for another day with my mother. I'm Dr. Jim Collins. I invite you to read my article, follow the link, and if you'd like some CEUs on hospice-related topics, go ahead and follow the link to CEU Academy. I'll see you next week.